Here I've got a nice problem involving a recursively defined sequence. And this is really inspired by a number of different problems like this that you would maybe see in a Calculus 2 class. You see lots of these types of problems in this class. Okay, so let's define our sequence, which I will denote by a sub n, by a1 equals 1, so that's like our seed, and then a n plus 1 will be the square root of 2021 plus 42 a n. And that's going to be true for all n bigger than or equal to 1. So we've got a seed of a1, and then we can use that seed to, divide, to define a2, a3, a4, and so on and so forth. So now we have two goals. We want to show that the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n exists, and we want to find its value. And it might seem strange, but we're going to do this a little bit out of order. You might say, well, that seems a little bit like cheating, but really it's not because we will find the prospective value in order to use the monotone sequence theorem to show that it exists. And knowing its value will help us find an upper bound for the monotone sequence theorem. Okay, so let's see how we might find the value, and we're gonna use a standard trick that you would do for recursively defined sequences. So we'll say that a is equal to this limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n. So that's assuming that the value of this limit exists, but then that is exactly the same as the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n plus one. So that's pretty clearly true. But the good thing about this is we can apply the recursion to a n plus 1. So we can write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of the square root of 2021 plus 42 a n. Nice. But now the square root function is continuous. Well, it's continuous for all positive real numbers, but definitely we're in the range of positive real numbers here. So that means we can bring this limit inside. But what's that gonna give us? That's gonna give us the square root of 2021 plus 42 times our limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n. But we already assumed that this limit was equal to a. So that gives us the square root of 2021 plus 42 a. Now, where can we go from here? Maybe the most obvious thing to do would be to square both sides. So that'll give us a squared equals 2021 plus 42a. So again, we got that from squaring a here and then squaring the square root, thus canceling the square root. Okay, but notice we've got a quadratic equation for a, and I think you guys probably all know how to solve quadratic equations. We probably want to use the quadratic formula if this doesn't factor easily, and this does not factor easily. And what we'll end up with is a equals 21 plus or minus the square root of 2,462. So those are the two possible values for the limit. But in fact, there's really only one of those that makes any sense, and that would be the one with a plus. And why is that? That's because if we have a minus there, then we would have a negative limit. But it's pretty clear that all of these numbers are positive. We'll end up showing that, but needless to say, that's a pretty good assumption. Okay, so what have we shown so far? We have shown that if there is a limit, the limit is this number right here, this 21 plus the square root of 2,462. Now what we have to do is show that this process was legal, and we can do that by showing that the limit exists. Okay, so let's maybe get rid of this, and then we will show that this limit exists. We just got done doing a calculation that will imply the limit of our sequence is 21 plus the square root of 2,462 if the limit exists in the first place. And now we're going to finish this off by showing that this limit exists in the first place. You might say, why did we do this out of order? Well, that's because we're going to use the monotone sequence theorem, and in order to show that it's bounded, it's useful to know this number. 
so that we can come up with an upper bound. Okay, so let's recall that the monotone sequence theorem says that if a n is monotone and bounded, then its limit exists. So we'll prove these both. Let's start by showing that a n is bounded, and we'll in fact show that it's bounded below by zero. That's actually pretty clear. We're not going to show that. We can talk through it a little bit. Notice that each a n is most definitely bigger than the square root of 2021, but that's positive, so we're good to go there. Now we need to pick a nice upper bound. How should we do that? Well, let's look at this number right here and find the smallest thing bigger than what's in the square root that is a perfect square. That will allow us to bound this above by something that's nice and easy to work with but the closest perfect square above this would be 2,500. That is 50 squared. So that's what we'll bound it above by. So this is going to be less than 21 plus the square root of 2,500, which is the same thing as 21 plus 50, which is 71. So let's maybe just erase this and we'll show that this is bound between zero and 71. Okay, so we'll end up doing this with induction. And notice our base case, the n equals one case, is pretty clear because a of one is equal to one. And one is most definitely bigger than zero and it's most definitely less than 71. So we're good to go for our base case. Next, let's make an induction hypothesis. So let's suppose for some k bigger than or equal to one, we have zero is less than a sub k, which is less than 71. And next, we will operate on all three portions of this inequality by the recursion that will take a k to a k plus one right here. Okay, so let's see what that'll give us. So we will first multiply by 42. So that's going to give us 0 is less than 42 AK, which is less than 42 times 71. But we actually don't need to be super careful here. 42 times 71 is less than 3,000. So we can just bound this above by 3,000. Okay. Now we will add 2021 and take the square root of both sides. So that's going to give us 2021. The square root of that is less than the square root of 2021 plus 42a sub k, which is less than the square root of 2021 plus 3000, which is 5021. But next it's pretty obvious that this is bigger than zero. And this middle term is equal to a k plus one by our definition over here. So we have zero is less than a k plus one. And then a k plus one is less than the square root of this. But again, we're going to bound it above by something that's larger than that. And we'll bound it above by the square root of 5041. You might say, well, why did we choose that? Well, 5,041 is in fact 71 squared. So we have this is equal to 71. So let's see what we've got. We have a k plus one lies strictly between zero and 71, which finishes the inductive proof of this claim. Okay, so let's get rid of this and we'll show that this is also monotone. We will show that it's increasing. We just got done showing that a n is bounded. It's between zero and 71. Now we'll show that it's increasing. Thus, it will be monotone and bounded, so the limit will exist. So this calculation that we did earlier in the video was allowed, and we actually have our limit already. But a priori, we do not know that this was correct until we finish showing that this is a monotone sequence. Like I said, in this case, we're going to show that it is increasing. We're going to do this by induction again. So our base case, well, that's pretty clear. That's going to be A2 is bigger than A1, which is equal to 1. We'll notice that A2 is going to be 2021 plus 42 and then take the square root. That's clearly bigger than 1. I'm not going to write anything more out about that. 
Now let's make an induction hypothesis. So let's suppose for some k bigger than or equal to 1, we have a k plus 1 is bigger than a k. And now we'll apply the rule that's given by this recursion over here. So let's first multiply by 42 and then add 2021. So that's going to give us 2021 plus 42 AK plus 1 is bigger than 2021 plus 42 AK. Now we can take the square root of both sides. The square root is an increasing function, so that's not going to change the ordering at all. But let's notice the left-hand side of this is exactly ak plus 2. The right-hand side is exactly ak plus 1. So that finishes our inductive proof that this is an increasing function. So we've satisfied all the conditions of the monotone sequence theorem, which means this limit exists. And so that means this value we calculated earlier is the value of our limit. And that's a good place to stop.